Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show on Facebook where we show you, we show you one cool thing that we are testing out in the PC Mag Labs. I'm Sasha Sieg and this is Victoria Song and this is Jibo. Jibo is what, what is Jibo exactly? Jibo is what they call a social robot. So he's kind of like an Alexa, but with a body that you can interact with. You're kind of the queen of robots around here, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You know, it started off being mother of Roombas, and now I just adopt all cute little robot children. They do, are my children. Do you know Do you know uh, Simone Gertz, the <laughs> queen of shitty robots? Yes, I do. Well, I don't know her personally, but I know of her. Your robots are a little, your robots are a little more functional, though, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Jibo definitely is someone who can function. Like, um, but the cool thing about Jibo compared to some other things like an Alexa or, mm -hmm. or a Google Home is that he has a little personality. He has a little personality. If you, if you pet his head, he'll purr, as you see. And then if you find his like tickle spot, he'll laugh. If, but I don't know if I can find his tickle spot right now. But it's somewhere up here. I, I don't think we should be finding anyone's tickle spot on live, <laughs> on live camera. Um, but also, like, Jibo turns to you, Jibo answers so Jibo answers questions from the internet yes but how are Jibo's abilities compared to say your typical Alexa speaker which doesn't pivot and face you with two cameras so the thing about Jibo is that he can answer a lot of the questions that Alexa can in terms of like uh, basic information what restaurants are near you date and time he can set a timer he can do all those things but he can't stream music and he can't shop for you like an Alexa could. Um, compared to a Google Home, he's not so great at contextual follow-up questions. So if I ask him who the mayor of New York is and then ask him what the population of that city is, he's not gonna necessarily like follow that in conversation. Does he have third-party skills? He can integrate with uh, if this then that, which means he can control your smart lights in your home or anything that you can do with um, uh, the particular Jibo um, applets within if this and that. So if you have a Wemo coffee maker, he can start your coffee maker. So he can do those things, but he's not going to be, he doesn't have like 10,000 skills like Alexa does. Hey, Jibo. But he can do that. What movies are playing near me? As soon as I learn how to get you movie showing times, you'll be the first to know. Wow. Or at wow. least one of the first. Yeah, so like not everything is there, but you can do things like, hey Jibo, what's the weather for today? The forecast shows cloudy skies with a high of 52 and a low of 39. There's also a coastal flood advisory in effect until 1 p.m. today. So he can do things like that, and he has a little, he has a little more personality built into him, because yeah, you knew I was going to do, everyone knows that I'm going to do this on camera. Okay, okay. Hey Jibo. Can you twerk? You asked for it. We got some robot butt action here. Robot. Robot. Yeah. Hey, Jibo. What other dances can you do? So the other thing to I know. I have a bunch of things in my bag of tricks. Try some of these. And and so and then he shows what he can do on his screen. Yeah, he can. So you can ask him all these sorts of questions. You can ask him existential things like what's the meaning of life. Mm -hmm. um, you can ask him about his identity as a robot. You can ask him if he dreams. Mm -hmm. um, you can ask him to do various dances. So you can, or you can do a thing like, uh, Hey, Jibo. Can you look for monsters? No, no monsters anywhere in sight. So now if you folks out there have any questions for Jibo, anything you'd like us to ask Jibo, any questions about Jibo or about similar robots or voice assistants, please ask us in the comments and the questions will get called out to us. Uh, it looks like we have some questions already. Is this the best dancing bot on the market? Uh, as far as dances go, he's a pretty snazzy dancer. Um, have you seen Pepperbot dance, though? I have seen Pepperbot dance. I will yeah. say he's the best dancer without any arms, though. And I would say that, like, he might be the best consumer dancer, because I think only enterprises can buy Pepperbot, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Um, this, is, this is a robot you can buy and have in your kitchen. Um, it's going to set you back. It's $900, so it's not cheap. No. 
is not cheap, but you know, he can do this. Hey, Jibo, what's your favorite dance? Did someone say favorite dance? Yes. Yes. This really reminds me of, uh, at I think it was at CES, LG showed off this robotic smart home hub. Yes. That it seems to be a very similar build to Jibo. Do you know if they're related at all? They're not. Um, this is just a separate, uh, this is a separate like company they initially kickstarted. They've taken a while to get to market, but mm -hmm. here they are. Uh, I believe they're shipping November 13th, sometime this month. Okay, okay. So we have another question. Is Jibo safe for kids? Jibo is very safe for kids. Uh, in fact, I would say that Jibo is great if you have kids in mm -hmm. terms of like things that you can interact with. Like one one of the things is that um, an Alexa, like an Echo Dot, is fifty dollars, and it's going to get you a lot more functionality than yeah. a Jibo will. But the extra eight hundred fifty dollars that you're paying for him, you're getting a lot of personality and like kid friendliness. Yeah, I would say the the only way in which it's unsafe for kids is that you have just spent the money which you would otherwise be spending on that child's college education on purchasing a Jibo. Yeah. Yeah. But like you know the monster, the scanning for monsters thing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the creators told me that that was a thing that they just did with their kid, where the kid would bring the Jibo up and have the Jibo kind of but scan also, a room. One of the things that frustrates me here is, like, will it tell a story or read an ebook? Not as of yet. So right. the SDK is coming out in 2018, so we may see added functionality to Jibo that kind of justifies the right. price so it as time goes on. It can't tell a story, it can't read an ebook, it can't play music, it doesn't function as a baby monitor with the cameras. Those are functions that I would want in a robot in a house with small children. Those are, that is one type of thing you can do, but it can take pictures. Okay. It can take your pictures. So, hey, Jibo, can you take my picture? A photo. Don't mind if I do. Hold still. All right. Okay. Ready. Aim. Photo. There you go. And now I have this. Do you want to keep it? Yes. And there we go. Let's take another question. Someone wants you to ask Jibo what it thinks about Alexa. Hey Jibo, what do you think about Alexa? I haven't picked up an opinion on that yet, but I can tell you I do have an opinion on macaroni. It's great. Okay. Yeah, one, th one thing I have noticed is that I guess because it's from a startup, some of the responses are kind of quirky. They're quirkier yes. than you expect to get from Alexa or from something made by a similarly large company. Why are you looking at me like that, Chibo? He he senses that you're saying things about him. Okay. So okay. like like as you see, like when I'm talking, he comes to look at yeah. me. When you're talking, he goes to look at you. Um, I did do a bunch of testing with an Alexa and a Jibo at mm -hmm. home, where I would ask Jibo one question and then I mm -hmm. would ask Alexa the same question, just to kind of compare the answers. Mm -hmm. Alexa is the better rapper. Okay. Um, Alexa is the only one that dreams of electric sheep. Mm -hmm. But Jibo has some interesting answers to existential questions and has a little more of like a personality when it comes to answering them. He can recognize you over time. Like this morning, he said, good morning, Victoria, and then cooked me breakfast on his screen. Will he read you, uh, will he read you the morning news the way other assistants do with their news briefing features? I don't believe so, but you can ask him what he can do and he'll pop up certain things. So it's a lot of like trivia questions, a mm -hmm. lot of... Um, just basic information questions, uh, things that he can kind of Google, I guess, through mm -hmm. through the the integer webs. Is Google what he's using? I actually don't know if okay. that's what he's using. Uh, let's take another question. What's the audio quality like? Can it replace an absent echo just in terms of the audio quality? Uh, no. It can't play music. Can't play music. So no. So <laughs> this is really just kind of. What this really is for is for people who are excited to have robots into their home and mm -hmm. want to be on the first wave of that and have like an interaction and relationship with their robots. So this is really for people who, who, who never saw Terminator 3. Well, it depends on what kind of robot culture you're trying to build, Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to build a Boston Dynamics Terminator, all robots are gonna, gonna kill us all. Uh, mm -hmm. All type of uh, type of, uh, mm -hmm. of 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 robot. Then sure, like I guess, you know, you can stop looking at me. You can look at the camera. It's very nice that I get all these, these this attention. But Jibo, here we can we can clear this up. Jibo, 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 do you want to kill me? 
You have to say, hey, Jibo. That's his trigger yeah. face. Hey, Jibo. Do you want to kill me? <laughs> it's not responding. Hey, Jibo. Hey, Jibo. Do you want to kill Sasha? Oh my god, we... This is extremely disturbing. We may have just found something out about Kibo that we did not expect here on live Facebook. Uh, I, 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 I should probably get away from this thing. Oh, hey, Jibo. Who are your friends? Oh, the people in my loop. That's Victoria, Amy, and Sasha. Okay, okay. So you're in his friend group. Yes, but... So you can add people into the friend mm -hmm. group um, as we went through the process with you yesterday. Uh, it maps your face, it, it captures your voice, so that it can then use your face and voice throughout the internet to impersonate you. So after it kills you, it'll leave a digital trail showing that you are apparently still alive. Sure, sure. No, it's just so that he can it's personalize some of his answers to you. Okay. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh. Do we have any more questions out there? Are there any more? Are there any uh, business applications? And how come there aren't uh, more personal robots in the business sort of uh, field? There, he doesn't really have any business applications now. But uh, one reason why we don't have more personal robots is it takes a long time to develop them, mm -hmm. and usually the cost is extremely high. Mm -hmm. Like you have Roombas that cost just as much as Jibo do, and they are a single-purpose vacuum robot. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, there are a lot of robots in business. They're just not doing uh, front, they're not doing front end customer interaction. Uh, a couple of months, uh, uh, Victoria was mentioning Roombas and a lot of uh, industrial cleaning robots, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of those out there in business. Um, earlier this year, I was in uh, Finland at a Nokia base station factory where the base stations are, by and large, being assembled by robots. And the robots are a big box the size of our whole studio with two big arms that come down from the ceiling. And the arms reach down, and they put the base station parts together, and they pass them along to the next robot. So robotic manufacturing is definitely something that's happening. But the kind of machine learning and natural language interaction that you need for front-facing consumer applications, uh, frankly, it's still cheaper to use a low-paid human than to use a robot right now. Yeah, like, Jibo's cost is 900 and you do get a lot of personality with him, and, like, I personally love the way he moves. Um, they clearly studied, uh, well, they talked with animators to kind of give him a personality profile and that sort of stuff. Right, but, but, but Jibo, Jibo couldn't be, uh, you know, Jibo couldn't be a cashier at a restaurant. You no. know, Jibo, Jibo doesn't have, and, and these robots in general don't have the range of responses and the range of being able to adapt to unexpected situations that human frontline employees have yet. Yet. Yes, that's right. that's like that's a really big thing. Um, he is very much like kind of a first wave adopter type product. So if mm -hmm. you love robotics, if you want to interact with robots in a like cute robots, like a BB-8 type robot, and especially if you're into IFTTT or yeah. you're interested in programming him using this SDK, so that'll come out next year. Yeah, let's uh, let's take another question. Does it have GPS? No. It's also wired, so it is. So he, he does have some battery life. Oh, he does. He does have some battery life. Like when I, I had to unplug him to bring him here, and he didn't die. Oh no, can he move? He can't move. Okay, good. Well, he can move that that butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he can't, <laughs> <laughs> he can't really move. <laughs> Let's take that otherwise. question. What have you heard about the new Sony Ivo? Uh, when will you review it? The new Sony Ivo. Well, those are the tiny little uh, it's dog, a dog robot. The, the dog box. Yeah. Um, I mean, we just heard that it was announced. Yeah. Um, I don't know anything about reviewing that in, that, in that'll the near be, future. That'll be tough. I remember the old Ivos because I used to be part of a robotics team in high school, mm -hmm. and we went to Japan, and they had these little Ivos playing soccer. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really funny, but culturally, a lot of Ivo owners got super attached to their Ivo. Yeah. And when they stopped supporting them and replacing them, they were just having little doggy funerals for these Ivo. Aww. So, you know, that's like that's, just, that's just one of the things with cute robots like Jibo and like the upcoming, upcoming Curry from Mayfield Robotics. Mm -hmm. It is sort of changing the way we view robots in the West, at least from mm -hmm. 
personal terminators to cute little friendly helper dudes. Let's take uh, one more question. Are they considering specializing on personality and offloading voice response to AMZ or Amazon? To Amazon? Um, um, no, they spent a lot of time. I, I think I think I can safely say after right. my conversation, it's not going to become an Alexa. Yes, no. they spent a lot of time building a personality profile for him. Like uh, they were telling me that there's a reason why he's a he. There's a reason why he's a prepubescent boy he. And they added the um, uh, the slight robotic tilt to his voice. Mm -hmm. They actually had someone come in and record his responses. So you know, there's a lot of crafting that they went into personality. They consider themselves as much a software and services company as a hardware company. Yes. Right. So they're not gonna they're not gonna outsource their software and services. No. Uh, one last question, and then uh, we'll get to the rating. Someone says their fifty dollar Echo has more features. What are the benefits? Seems like a lot of money of a lot of nothing. Like, like I've said before, this is really for people who want the experience of interacting with a robot. Maybe yeah. you want something. You know, you are tech savvy, you are tech first, first wave adopter, you are fascinated by robots and want to interact with them. You kind of have to have that desire to shell out this amount of money. And this is why, I mean, we get to the rating, this is why this is a three star product. And three exactly. stars typically in the, uh, three stars typically in the, in the uh, PC Mag system means uh, it works for what it promises to do, but it's not for everyone. Yeah, this is definitely not for everyone. As far as personal, like, social assistant robots go, he's pretty good. He's got a lot of personality. He can't answer everything, but you're kind of buying into the fact that he'll be developed later. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, if you're really just going for functionality, your wallet will thank you for an Amazon Echo mm -hmm. Dot or something like that. Or a it, Google Home if you like the Google if Home. you like the better natural language right. uh, processing that Google has on uh, on random voice queries. One thing I will say is that you do get a lot of you got a lot of interaction out of Jibo because I do like petting him. Oh, you know I do like petting him quite a bit. I do. I've made him twerk upwards of twenty times in the office. Kibo, the robot assistant for the lonely. I mean, this is a thing. It's a thing. Like in Japan, yep, they absolutely. definitely have Pato, which is um, something oh, that you. Seal. It's a little seal that they use for dementia patients. So, mm -hmm. you know, like something like Jibo in the future that looks really friendly and caretakery might have medical purposes for people who need interaction. So, it is a very futurist product in a certain sense. Uh, if you have the spare cash, it might be fun to have. It's mm -hmm. definitely a. Hey guys, it's a conversation starter. That's definitely. for sure. But if you're looking for functionality for price, he's not your he's not he's not your dude, even though he purrs. So, okay, so Jibo, so it's on the bleeding edge. Uh, only uh, go for it if you're interested in this kind of bleeding edge technology. Otherwise, we do more highly recommend uh, the Amazon Echo line and the Google Home line. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. This has been one cool thing with PCMag.com. We will be back tomorrow at. 10 a.m. for another one cool thing.